Michelle. I'm here today to just do a quick little tutorial on a palette I've been wanting for such a long time. It's not new in the YouTube world, but it's new to me. The Naked 3 palette. I'm so excited to have it, finally. For anybody who doesn't know, this is what it looks like. It's got beautiful, rosy toned shadows and some copper toned shadows at, on this end. I think it's gonna go really well with green eyes, so I just wanna do a look with it and film it. So anybody who hasn't watched my videos before, I'm Michelle, I hope you subscribe so that you can see all of my videos if you enjoy my video. And I did all my makeup except for my eyeshadow, so on my face I'm wearing the Revlon Colorstay Normal to Dry in 150 buff. For my highlight, it's the Flower Beauty Cosmetics in Glisten Up Pearl Shimmer. For my setting powder, I use the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. We have the NYX Micro Brow in taupe for the eyebrows, along with the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Revlon Primrose for the lips. For the lip liner, I used NYX Peekaboo. Peekaboo Neutral. For the blush, I used NYX's Beach Babe. So let's get into this eye look, see what we can create with this new beautiful palette. Actually, I'm gonna start off using the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush as a base. Just put that all over the lid. This is literally one of my favorite colors of all time. It's just so gorgeous. So I'm going to use the brush from the palette. A ball just fell off my dresser. Okay, so I'm going to go into, we'll go into Trick. Put that on the inner and middle part of the eyelid. My very first Naked palette. Well, actually I had the Naked Basics. I had the Naked Basics, but I took it back. I just found it was really plain. It didn't really give much color. It didn't do much. I already had colors so similar to it. And the crease will use Nooner. I guess I don't really need to keep showing you considering there are color names for it. So we're gonna use the other end of the brush. Go up into that crease a little bit. Same thing on the other side. Well, I'm going to use just an eyeshadow blender brush from Walmart and use Limit to buff out the edges. Sometimes I like to go back in with a bigger fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm not sure who can use this for their crease considering it is so big. So I just use it for a buffing brush. We'll take a little bit of Strange and just go up by the brow bone and around the edges just to kind of make sure everything looks smooth. We want to deepen up the outer V. We'll go back to the brush that it came with and this side right here. With We'll go with 
dark side. We're going to go on the outer V. I'm going to bring that color wedged up into the crease. And then I'm going to kind of draw a triangle shape straight out. to create a sort of lifted, elongated look, like a cat eye. Can you see that? Then we'll go back in with the blender brush and kind of blend it out. Blend out those edges. Do the same with the other side, back into dark side. We're going to pack it on the outer corner. Wedge it up into the crease. Take a little bit more and make a triangle straight across. Can you see the kind of shape I'm going for here? Back to the blender brush. Blend it out. I'm going to go back in with the buffing brush and a little bit of strange all around the edges here. I really like things to not look too harsh and not see any lines. As much as possible. I'm actually going to pull in the Sony Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette with the white so I can really blend out the edges. Go in with a little bit of a concealer. Any concealer will do and just make sure you have a nice straight sharp line make it look nice and neat Got to curl those lashes. Any lash curler will do. So there's the eye look I created with the Naked 3 palette, just playing around with it. I've only used it a couple of times so far. I like it. I think it's very nice, very wearable. You could wear it to work. You could wear it to the mall. You can wear it anywhere. Hope you're having an awesome day. Bye!